We've talked about absolute value. We've talked about inequalities. Today we're going to talk about absolute value inequalities. We're going to put those two ideas together. So that's what we're talking about in section 9.3. value inequalities. Let's look at a real simple one to kind of get the idea of this and then of course like we always do we're going to build this up and try to do some more advanced problems uh, in a little while. So let's go ahead and let's graph and I'll explain absolute value of x less than 4. Now what I'd like to do I want to start off by thinking about some of the numbers that are in this set. We all know what absolute value does, right? Absolute value makes anything that you put in there positive. If it is positive, it remains positive. If it's negative, it becomes positive. Can you give me a number that satisfies this expression, this inequality? One. One satisfies it. Great. One, absolute value of one is one. Is that less than four? Mm -hmm. Give me another one. Negative two. Negative two. Why negative two? Sure, okay. How about, uh, what else? Say that again. <coughs> negative four. How about negative four? No. Well, why not? Because it's going to turn positive. Oh, so if I put in negative four, absolute value of negative four is? Four. Is four strictly less than four? No. No. So that would not work. Give me another one that does work. Three Negative. Negative 3.999999999 forever. S of A of negative 3.99999 that is supposed to be 99. forever is positive 3.999999 forever. Is that less than 4? Yes. Then yes, that would work. 3.99999 forever would work because that's the value that is still positive. How about 4? Would 4 work? No. No, because that's the value 4 is 4. That's not less than 4. How many people understand that what, this, what these numbers look like? So if we were to do this on a number line, I can't plug anything in greater than 4. Because that, that seriously would be greater than 4, right, in absolute value. Here's 0. But I also can't plug anything less than negative 4. The reason is, if I plug in anything less than or equal to negative 4, in absolute value that changes it to a positive, which then becomes bigger than 4. Are you with me on this, ladies and gentlemen? So when I graph this, what this is, is I'm going to use parentheses to signify that this is open. What we're talking about is this range of numbers in here. Anything between negative 4 and 4, but not inclusive. The reason why it's not inclusive is why? Why is it not inclusive? Yeah, there's no equal sign up there. Very good. Let's see if we can take this and run with it. Hey, when we first started dealing with absolute value, how many equations did you get with absolute value? No matter what, you get two, right? Hopefully on your homework you got two in every single case. I hope you did that. You're supposed to get two in every single case. Well, if we get two equations when we're dealing with equations, or absolute value equations, then when we're dealing with absolute value inequalities, we should get how many inequalities do you think? As a matter of fact, I want you to look over here at this problem. When we did this problem, notice how we could have actually written out two inequalities. We know two things about this. We know that, firstly, x had to be less than positive 4. You with me on that? But we also knew another one. Check this out. x had to be greater than negative 4. Didn't it? x had to be less than positive 4. x had to be greater than negative 4. We actually make up two inequalities. So, when we do this absolute value inequality stuff, it is an absolute value, so we will have two inequalities. A 
okay, how do we do it? Look back over here at this first example, okay? When we make up our two inequalities, look what happens. Look, do you see that this one is really similar to the first absolute value equation we would have made up if this was an equal sign? If that was an equal sign, look at the board here real quick, folks. Don't change your problem, just watch up here. If that was an equal sign, we already have done this in this class, you'd have one of them equal to 4, and you'd have one of them equal to negative 4. Are you with me? Well, now, it's not an equation. It was less than. We have one of them less than 4. So we're going to make up one inequality by not changing any signs at all, just like you did with your equations. Are you seeing the similarities here? So make up one by not changing any signs. Now, the second one's kind of important, though. Look at the second one. Please watch the difference up here. When you made this first inequality, it was very much like making the first equation where you change nothing. We just had x is, absolute value of x is less than 4. Therefore, first inequality is x is less than 4. Now, if this were an equation, I'll go back to the equation, you'd have another x equal negative 4, if that were an equation, right? But look what we're doing. Since this is now an inequality, it's actually not x is, don't write this down, just watch. It's not x is less than negative 4, is it? x is less than negative 4, that would be these numbers. We know those didn't work. Because when we change them in absolute value, those all become positive and shift them over to that side. They're too, they're too big. That doesn't work. So what happened was, when we changed this number to a negative, we also had to change this sign to the opposite of what it was. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. Hey, do you remember when you're solving your inequalities, what do you do when you multiply or divide by a negative? Hey, you all got to be with me on that. That's old school stuff. Uh, are you with me that whenever you multiply or divide by a negative, you have to flip that inequality? True? Mm -hmm. Look what we're doing. We're essentially changing this sign. If we are going to change a sign, it's very much like multiplying or dividing by a negative. Here, did we change a sign? No, we'll leave it the same. Here, are we changing the sign? Yes. Absolutely. What's got to happen to that inequality? It's got to flip. Okay, that's where we're getting that thing from. So, long story made short, we make two inequalities just like we did before. The first one, we do that without changing any signs. The second one, we change a sign of the number and we flip the inequality. The reason why we flip the inequality is because we're changing the sign of the number. Not just if you're okay on that. Okay? So one without changing any signs. One by changing the sign. And here's the key point, key part of this, because we, we had that with the equations where you just change a sign. You must flip the inequality. That's an important part. Okay, raise your hand if you feel okay with this so far. You understood this, this example over here. That's good. Okay, so we know these are the numbers between negative 4 and 4. Or in other words, the number is less than 4. And, we saw that word and, that's where that's coming from. And greater than negative 4. It's between there. That's where the and is, that crossover. Notice how we have a crossover here. <clears throat> now, I want to show you one thing. I'll show it. I'll make up the two equations. I want to show you something on both of these things, what we can do with our and or our absolute value inequalities. Check this out. Firstly, how many uh, inequalities are we going to make out of this thing? Good. The first one is one where I'm not going to change anything about it. So can you tell me exactly what I'm going to have for my first one? X minus 2 and what? Perfect. First one, I don't change anything. It's just like I get rid of my absolute value. By the way, draw this one on the right side of your paper. 
Okay, do the first one on the right side. Trust me on this, it's going to be a lot easier for you to do that. Put this on the right side of your paper. You with me? You'll see why in a little bit. Second one. Second one is going to be what now? Do I change x minus 2? No. Do I change the 1? Yes. What's the 1 become? Negative Tell me the symbol I have to put in between there now. Is it less than or equal to or greater than or equal to? Good, I have to flip that thing around. Why am I flipping that thing around? Okay, so because I've changed this number to a negative, that means my inequality must flip around. Now, there's one cool thing that we can do. I want you to watch over here. Do you remember what I told you about and inequalities? By the way, this, is, this does mean and, just like it meant and over here. What I told you about and inequalities is that oftentimes we can mash them together and make one large inequality out of this thing. Remember me telling you that? Yeah. Check this out. I'm going to leave this one alone. This is why, is this why, by the way, you write this on the right-hand side of your, your page. I'm going to leave this one alone, but is it okay if I take this off the board and flip it around and put it back? Is that okay with you? So instead of x is greater than negative 4, I'm going to have x, I'm sorry. I am actually going to flip it around. Negative 4 less than x. Do those say the same thing to you? So I just flip this one around. This is the same as that. And x is less than 4. Hey, is this one of those cases where I can put them together? Yep. Negative 4 less than x, and x is less than 4. This means negative 4 is less than x is less than 4. Hey, does this picture look like this picture? It's exactly the same thing. In fact, we can do interval notation. This starts at negative 4. This goes to 4. We'll use parentheses because that is not equal to. But watch what we can do over here. This is kind of nice. We can do exactly the same thing here. I want you to follow along with me. Let's take this off the board. Let's flip it around. So instead of x minus 2 is greater than or equal to negative 1, I'm going to have negative 1 is what now? Is it going to be, if I'm taking this and flipping it, is it the same? Is it this way still? No. That wouldn't make sense. This way? Yes. X minus 2. And X minus 2 is less than or equal to 1. Okay, I need a head nod if you guys are okay on doing that. Or no, if you're not. You don't change the x minus 2? We don't have to. It's, it's, that's, that's this part of it. The x minus 2, you don't have to do negative 2 plus x or anything. It really doesn't matter. Okay. What we're doing is we're just, we're just reversing sides here. Okay. That's all we're doing, okay? Are you, does that make more sense to you guys? Okay, so I've just reversed this. I'm just reversing this one now. Yes, no, I get a no. Yes, yes. Okay, so now we have negative 1 is less than or equal to x minus 2, and we also have x minus 2 is less than or equal to 1. This is the same situation, look at the board, as right here. Negative 4 is less than x, x is less than 4. It's just that instead of x, I have x minus 2. I can still mash those things together, check this out. I can do negative 1 is less than or equal to 